Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be doing a Q&A video on you guys' questions to do with the upcoming season of The Flash specifically. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so yeah, we have a bunch of questions that we're going to be going through, so what to do with The Flash Season 7, because The Flash is coming out soon. Obviously, we have Batwoman this week, which is very exciting. We're going to be covering it as soon as I'm able to watch it and reviews are able to come out. So be on the lookout on the channel for that. Also, I'm watching WandaVision tomorrow, so should be having reviews out on WandaVision as well. I know that's Marvel, but we're going to be doing that at least at the start of the season. But after all of this, The Flash is going to be coming out and it won't be too long after this week you know we're going to head into the end of january and then we have february and then it comes out february 23rd so it's not too long not too far away about a month and a bit away and then we will have the flashback on our screen so we have lots of theories as we are heading towards the premiere day in february very very excited to be covering it once again when the show comes back obviously reviews trailer breakdowns straight away after the episodes air that's what we're going to be trying to do in this year so the schedule is going to be a bit different more kind of like pagey schedule because he normally reviews it straight away after and i would normally wait till the day after because it's in the night but at least at the start of the season we're gonna give it a go right after the episode airs in the night but anyway let's move on to the questions so the first question comes from flash first a very good youtuber and he asks do you think Barry will unlock new abilities with this new Speed Force just to show the difference between the original and the new one? So that is a very good question and I think the answer to that is yes, we're going to be seeing some sort of new abilities as we head into this new Speed Force that he's going to create. Again, we've theorized recently, you guys can go check out those recent videos where we talked about the Speed Force. And we talked about the idea that maybe he is reviving the old Speed Force and creating it for the first time. Kind of how like he creates Gideon in the future and maybe that happens with the Speed Force and he introduces it to his past self. So that is something we talked about then. But yeah, in terms of new abilities, I think he might get some new ones. If you guys were reading Flash Rebirth, basically a while back, when Wally returned, and this was a big thing because Barry had been the Flash in the comics, well, the main Flash for a while, Wally came back, he was stuck in the Speed Force, and he came out with new abilities. And I kind of feel like we can compare it to that, because he's going to be creating this new Speed Force, and this new Speed Force definitely is going to give him like some sort of powers, and maybe we'll get a few extra powers or it could potentially take away his powers but it's more likely that he's gonna get rather than is gonna take but those are just a few theories and now and so someone replied to this Marcus on YouTube said yes and I think there will be a bigger villain the mirror master and the flash will have to team up in the end to defeat the villain so this is a very good point and this is pretty much what is gonna happen and they're not gonna be facing against like a new villain or something but according to leaks, according to some set photos we saw a while back from Canada Graphs and a few other sources, we saw Barry and Eva actually teaming up and they had to face off multiple clones of Eva and it seems like that is going to be the final thing that they're going to do at the end of this season. And I put that in sort of quotation marks because it's not actually the end of the season, it will be the end of episode 3 due to what happened last season. With filming being shut down and they had to cut the season short. Anyway, let's move on to the next question. This comes from Kyle on YouTube who says, There are some people saying that Godspeed is Eddie Thorne back from the dead because of Crisis, or is it really August Hart? Also, will Barry revive the old Speed Force and make his own? We kind of answered that just now. And will he be the one who generates it, therefore giving Wally his powers back as well? But my biggest question is, who is Godspeed? So who is Godspeed is a very, very important question that we have been asking for uh, quite a while now because, you know, they introduced this mystery at the start of last season. So the question of who is sending these Godspeed clones back from the past or from the future or, you know, wherever this person is, like, who is it? Is it actually August Hart like it is in the comics and like it originally was on the TV show? The answer is no, it's not going to be August Hart, it's going to be someone else under the mask. However, it may not even be Godspeed sending these Godspeed clones back because when you think about that, that doesn't really make much sense. Why would you clone yourself? You would normally clone someone else. 
but that is just a theory as of right now but in terms of godspeed is eddie thorne back from the dead obviously that makes sense in terms of the flash season 7 synopsis that they released a while back because it talked about barry and iris having some sort of marital problems potentially that is because of mirror iris however people have interpreted that to be maybe eddie thorne is coming back because obviously that was a big thing in iris's life before barry and so there might be some sort of conflict there however it is unlikely that eddie is going to come back from the dead maybe eddie from another earth or something like that potentially like what they're doing on superman and lois with the lex luthor as that version of lex luthor is not going to be played by john cryer but is a displaced version of lex like an alternate version of himself from another earth that got lost here and stuck on earth prime due to crisis on infinite earths so something like that could happen and you could have an alternate version of eddie thorne who is in fact godspeed in this version of the earth i would say is probably going to be someone from the future sending back rather than someone in the present that is just my current theory as of right now but we shall have to see but i don't think it's going to be august heart so hopefully that answers your question of who is Godspeed? Who might he potentially be? Okay, so moving on to the next question, FX Snipers says, Do you think we will be going back to the night where Thorn will try and kill Barry as a kid? So, again, very relevant question because we are expecting at some point to go back to that night again because it's such a pivotal point in Barry's history, in the history of the show. And I would say we're going to see it at some point soon. I don't know if we're specifically going to see it this season because I can't think of many reasons as to why they would go back. However, it was teased that Thorn is going to be a part of this season somehow. I don't know how much of a big part he's going to play, but supposedly he is actually coming back. So if he does come back, there is definitely a chance that we might go back to that night once again because at one point we're going to have to reach the point where we get to that original version of the Flash or future Barry essentially who we always see when we go back to that point. We always see that one version of the Flash. I think his suit is a little bit different. It is kind of similar to the suit we have right now. So at some point, maybe before the show ends in a few years or so, I would presume. I'm not 100% on that. He's going to get some sort of new suit. And then at that point, we're going to go back well in the last season and we'll go back to that point where barry faces off against thorn on the night of his mother's death okay so good question let's move on to michael gutierrez's question he says eva will not be happy when barry has a new speed force and team flash will learn that there is still a multiverse but that it's different so it's kind of like two different things right here so eva will not be happy when barry has a new speed force and that is right because barry will be able to stop her essentially he hasn't been you know using his normal powers because his power levels have been really low and they've been diminishing minute by minute and so with him getting the new speed force he's definitely going to get these new powers he's going to be more powerful and he will be able to stop eva after all because he's going to be able to go fast enough to actually deflect whatever sort of mirror powers she's going to be throwing at him but i think in the end it's not going to be a battle between them there will be some sort of fight that will lead to some sort of resolution because from the leaks they team up in the end and so the second part of your question is in regards to team flash will learn that there is a multiverse but that is different so i guess the big question is at what point are they going to learn that the multiverse exists but it's different now because right now they believe that the multiverse was destroyed and everything was merged into earth prime as they call it however in crisis we got the confirmation that new earths were created replacing the old earths for example you have stargo on earth 2 where harry normally would be that is a completely new version of Earth 2 and it's going to be a shock for Team Flash because they are so involved with the multiverse stuff. However, I don't think it's too far-fetched to assume that they kind of have the theories right now like maybe there is a multiverse out there but they just haven't explored it yet. So I reckon at some point soon they're going to find out and there is going to be some sort of storyline where it's to do with the multiverse and they will eventually find that out. So that's a good question, Michael. Thank you for that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, hit that bell notification button to not miss any videos, 
And before we end this video, I want to remind you guys, you can become a member by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button. You get access to weekly exclusive videos, exclusive video reviews for you on TV shows, potentially like Batwoman, potentially like Black Lightning, which comes out early February, and also WandaVision. But at first, WandaVision and Batwoman is going to be on the channel normally because you know the first few episodes we'll see how it goes and then we'll probably shift it to the exclusive members only videos so if you want to join and contribute towards the channel please click the join button and become a member today but anyway guys i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.